Yes. <laughs> good afternoon, sessionistas and photographers. Photogs, good afternoon. How are you guys? Wow, it is an, indeed a very, very lovely weekend afternoon, Friday afternoon. I hope you enjoyed your uh, break from yesterday, Thursday, because I believe that most of us has no work uh, yesterday. And I do hope that you have enjoyed your long weekend and tomorrow it's going to be continuing for a Saturday. You know, <laughs> make the most out of it. If you have your friends here, make the most out of it. Go out with your friends. You don't need to spend a ton of money. You just need to spend quality time with your friends or with your family if you have your family here. And also... You know, if if you decide to um, spend the rest of the day or spend the rest of the weekend by yourself, try to make it a little bit more productive in a sense that, you know, uh, try to like spend it in learning or developing yourself or developing your craft or maybe developing your photography skills. You know, try to like do um, observe, uh, do a photo walk. Uh, drive with your friends somewhere and do uh, what you call this maybe you can create a concept altogether and <laughs> what a really great way to start the weekend is to say thank you be grateful in what we have be you know pay gratitude feel gratitude my topic for today live lecture session friday live sessions gratitude five ways to express gratitude simple ways actually this research material was written by jacqueline whitmer she is a contributor author business etiquette expert and founder of the protocol school of palm beach this was written August 4, 2014. Five simple ways to express gratitude every day. I think this is from entrepreneur.com. So guys, there's a lot of research materials online that you can, you know, try to use or try to read for additional knowledge because we never know. We can we can bump into something or we can use these things research um on a topic or, or something that we are very interested of, especially when it comes to entrepreneurship and motivation and inspiration to others, and especially to ourselves as photographers, this never ending, I just saw this uh, really good um, post because I think it's from Louis, from Louis of UAE Coffee. Shout out to you, my friend. He said, never stop learning because life never stops teaching us what a really great profound uh what they call this what a profound statement from him which is true to its core you know life doesn't stop to teach us so why not you know stop learning hello malu how are you <laughs> i have 2000 viewers <laughs> hello guys happy weekend i'm gonna see you late uh shortly tonight we have this business meeting to attend to and I have a very great role to participate on. I am one of the, uh, shall I say, table topics master. I'll be the table topic master of the evening and our topic is about the best version of you. And I have a really great um, surprise for the people who's going to participate and who's going to attend the business meeting. Uh, for tonight and it's gonna be lovely all right without further ado i'll watch i'll let you guys watch this very short introduction cheers all right so let me do um my name is chris calumberan i am the winner of the 2018 photographer's a photographer uh, of the year award given by the Filipino Times 2018 
And please visit my website, chriscalumbiran.com and our instagram.com slash chriscalumbiran. Please subscribe to our, you know, li- you know, follow our Instagram, visit our website, and like our Facebook page, which is down below, facebook.com slash photogs life. I, el- I-, I will be sharing a lot of contents with you guys. In fact, three times a week if I can. We will be interviewing a lot of photographers in the future, a lot of very talented photographers, and we will be sharing you their works and how do we, how can we decipher their thinking about that photograph that they have created and we will share it with you guys. What is the, um, shall I say, uh, work process, the mental work process that they uh, go through while they're creating that kind of photograph the, you know in the future definitely i mean I, we've been doing it already and we will continuously doing it until we are uh we are capable of doing it in our days in our time you know if we're not busy we will continue doing it awesome right so our topic for today is gratitude Five ways to express gratitude. Uh, I can say most of this, I mean all of this, I do. I, I, I practice this. And I also practice this in my photography career back in the days. And also during, you know, during the present. Um, not only in photography career that you can practice this, but also in our daily lives. You know, that's why photography is not just clicking the camera. It's also like... It's a way of living for me. It is, uh, shall I say, how would you be able to give value with, to your subject so that they will be interested and they will be confident enough for you to be their photographer, to trust you as their photographer. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's an exchange. You know, I give you this, you give this back in return. So, what a great feeling to express you know, after receiving something from your subject is to pay that gratitude, to pay back that gratitude. And, you know, it's going to be a constant cycle of giving and taking between you guys as a photographer and as a subject, especially when it comes to lifestyle, especially when it comes to production, especially when it comes to our daily lives, we can use this. Number one is... I actually don't have. <laughs> I, I we usually have <laughs> visual aids, but today I will try not to do visual aids because I will gonna use this for podcast style so that the people who are not watching can still listen to this. So write an abundance journal. Um, before I continue, let me say hello, hello to Mr. Ashton and Mr. J. Hello, Jay. Hello, Ashton. Hello, Malu. Thank you very much for watching. Write an abundance journal. Writing an abundance journal works under the law of attraction. If you heard about law of attraction, uh, these are like saying something to the universe because the universe doesn't say no to us. If we be positive, it will come back positive. If we be negative, it will come back to us negative. So, try to write abundance journal. Because the premise of this five ways to express gratitude every day is gratitude is the major factor of happiness. It's a major factor to for us to be happy, for us to be contented. Especially when artists, ad- artists like us, we go through a lot of insecurities. We go through a lot of pressure, and we go through a lot of judgments, judgmental uh, judgments from our peers, from our colleagues, from our community. You know, if we try to be, you know, to be equipped with factors and tools for us to be contented, gratitude is one of the tools that we can use from our toolbox and say. Thank you, and don't give, uh, you know, a damn to anyone else, you know. 
writing a gratitude journal also works in advance meaning to say if you have a project or if you have someone that you really want to work with it worked for me 2009 i'm telling you i still have at my journal with me i i wrote a letter to michael i wrote a letter to fern and i lo- i wrote a letter to ezra the three major players in 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 philippine fashion industry i wrote a letter to them after my great shoot with rocky gather cole and i told them thank you very much um i love working with you guys and hopefully we can continue working in the future just that and then suddenly after a few months we i had a chance working with them it's kind of like in 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 tagalog when you say advanced <laughs> advanced thinking advanced thinking there's nothing wrong with that because there's not uh you will not lose anything anyways you know doing that for yourself so try to write an abundance journal it really works because you can download all the thoughts in your head because most of the time keeping thoughts or overthinking or um what you call this um overloading our heads with thoughts it can help a lot when we try to write when we when we try writing down our thoughts on paper also it can help in creativity and there's a lot of ways it can help us just writing down every thought or dreams or goals or gratitude and you know projects that we may think I even discussed it before you know being organized is being is organizing your thoughts and being organizing your thoughts it uh involves writing it down on paper writing it down on a journal it really works and I really advise you guys try to get a simple notebook or a simple sketch pad just write down your thoughts if you can't write it on words try to draw it if you can't draw it try to like you know symbol put some symbols on it and express yourself on writing because this way we can download our crazy thoughts or we can you know we can it can help us meditate and it can help us empty our minds in sometimes when we are really in a bad shape or really in 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 a stage where there's so many things going on in our lives. Number two, <clears throat> express your gratitude in person. Most of the time, when we say hello to a friend, now, before it was email, now it was SMS. <laughs> People are now really thankful. If you give them a call and say, hello, man, I miss you. Um, I'm, uh, I really want to see you soon and, you know, let's catch up. You know, just a simple phone call can make someone's day, you know, can make someone's day special. You know, especially when you're going to meet them face to face, you know, and, and expressing our gratitude to this person, you know, it, it is a very special way how we can uh, make someone's day special not only their day but your day also because if you're going to give this positivity especially with our clients in photography um, I always express my gratitude in person if I can you know go to their office without any reason at all not just by collecting not just by meeting not by just meeting them for a brief you know just try and visit your clients one once in a while Uh, buy them coffee you know buy them flowers you know, uh, once I did, um, I collaborated with this honey company and I have given them honey, you know, special, really special honey. And they they really appreciate these things, you know, because, because it's not because of the professional relationship doesn't have to be too professional in, su- in such a way because... Expressing gratitude can be professional at the same time and it gives you value and it makes you more memorable as a person and as a supplier. Number three, show respect for those who is around you. Try to 
show respect. Try to not belittle or not underestimate people who are surrounding us. You know, it can be a T-boy, it can be the office boy, it can be the assistant, it can be the PA of someone, you know, you trust or, you know, of, or, or, of a, um, a client or uh, a lead. You know, try to pay, show respect to them. Even if you know, even if they try not to give you respect, but return respect even to those who are not deserving of it. Because you know what happened in the day. Uh, what happened in the end of the day is you're not the one who is doing the wrong thing. You know, try to respect those people who are around you. Not only people, but also nature and also the animals and also Mother Nature. It really gives back to you know good karma to us you know when when you're when you're respecting a place when you're respecting a location when you're shooting you don't throw your cigarette butts anywhere you try to like you know be neat or try not to smoke you know if you're going to um serve craft meals or you know for for your catering try not to litter in the location try you know keep the to keep the rental studio clean you know have house rules be respectful so that respect you know goes back to you also number four this number four is very typical here in dubai i meet a lot of people i meet a lot of clients i meet a lot of friends and colleagues who does this all the time complaining Try to avoid complaining. I mean, there are some matters that is really worth complaining about. But there are some small things that you can just brush it off. You know, because it, it tends us not to be productive if we try to if we try to focus ourselves about complaining too much. You know, try to be shall I say cool about it. Don't be you know, don't take it personally. Um don't take it you know don't make it a as a um, big deal you know don't don't make it as a big deal anyways you know just brush it off i mean sometimes being understanding is uh you know is make us makes our life lighter you know it it it, it try not to have that burden of um unnecessary weight on our shoulders complaining a lot is annoying <laughs> now <laughs> number five last but not the least i would like to say hello to my viewers mr mikey mike mickey mike ashton jay and malu thank you very much for watching say hello if you pass by what you call this and please uh shall i say visit the website follow us on instagram and also uh you know like us like our page our facebook page facebook.com slash photogs life number five try to volunteer in your community volunteer in your community say um share our talents because sometimes um we try to think that our you know our we respect our craft definitely and me as an entrepreneur this is my way of living this is my bread and butter shall i say and after a while you know especially during the um during the lean mo lean seasons in summer and ramadan it was really tough and I would, I volunteer my craft. I, I try to volunteer or otherwise just, you know, offer them a special rate, you know, or offer them something. I mean, the community really needs us for the coverages, for our coverages. That's why I say, you know, kudos to the people who serve the community and volunteer their talents to the community because our community needs it a lot our community needs positive exposure and 
when we say positive exposure, let us be responsible on what we try to represent our community of. You know, try to be responsible as an artist and as we have that big, great responsibility of being sensible and being substantial to our community in such a way. And when we have a chance to help someone from the community or be at service to anyone, it's not just about taking photographs. It's also just giving time to advice or giving time to those who are in need. You know, living in the Middle East is a very challenging um, way of living. That's why we have not just us for ourselves, but others for ourselves, you know. Try to be as much as possible friendly to the community and be uh, also be beneficial. What I'm trying to say is be uh, I forgot the term, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me say hello to Mickey Mike. He said he waved hello. Mr. Tollitz, hello. How are you? Magkaling Tollitz. Um, oh my goodness, these words. This is the great thing about live. You forget words. and Because right now, I did not prepare, prepare any scripts that's why i'm i tend not to read nowadays because it's nice to have everything from your heart and what i'm trying to say is be generous that's the word try to be generous of your time try to be generous of your shall i say um uh your reality your realness your your being genuine as a person you know be genuine try to um genuine genuine and thankful and <laughs> i'm lost with words but guys gratitude is one of those things that are that is the major factor in happiness if we try and learn to be grateful of things that we have you know this is also the 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 root of happiness let let me go back you know try to write an abundance journal try to express your gratitude in person show respect for those around you not only people but the environment try not to complain avoid complaining and volunteer in your com in, com your com in your community it can be your office community it can be the filipino community it can be the photography community try to be generous and try to be genuine and that's it thank you very much guys and girls <laughs> photogs and sessionistas Thank you very much and I am really grateful for this day and I'm really grateful for your time of listening and spending time with me in this live session and enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the rest of the weekend and more power to you. Please visit the website chriscolumbiran.com, follow the Instagram page uh, instagram.com slash chriscolumbiran and follow our uh, facebook.com slash photogslife. And also research us on YouTube because YouTube is one of the most, the second most powerful search engine. So please search us there, Chris Calumberan, Photog's Life. God bless you and have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Cheers. <music>